Hello everyone. I am Simrit Kaur and I am here to derive the formula of TSA and CSA of a cylinder through an easy activity. So, TSA is the total surface area and CSA is the curved surface area. So, first of all, I'll start with CSA. So, for this, I require a rectangle. Here, in front of you is a rectangle with vertices A, B, C and D. AB is the length and AC is the breadth. We know the area of rectangle is length into breadth. So now I'll fold it and I'll see that this is making a boundary of a circle. See? And a boundary of a circle is called circumference and the formula of circumference is 2 pi r. So when I'll open it, I'll see that this was the boundary of the circle. This was the circumference. So here, instead of AB, I have written 2 pi r. Now I'll fold it again and I'll see that AC. AC is the breadth of the circle and it is also making the height of the cylinder. So here I have written H and hence we get the formula of CSA that is 2 pi r h. Now I'll go on to TSA, total surface area. As the name suggests, total means everything. So this includes the CSA of this whole rectangle, I mean the cylinder, I'm sorry. And this circle that is at the and this circle that is at the top and the circle that is at the bottom. Now, when we will see TSA is the CSA and the area of the two circle. So I have here I have written the formula of CSA that is two pi r h and area of one circle we know is pi r square. So for two circles at the top and at the bottom. So for two circles it will be 2 pi r square. So 2 pi r h is 2 pi r square. Now we have taken common that is 2 pi r since 2 pi r is here also and here also and we get the formula that is 2 pi r h plus r. So I write it again that is CSA is equals to 2 pi r h and TSA is equals to 2 pi r h plus r. Hence, the formula is proved with this simple activity. Thank you.